And today we are going to explore operational excellence. Yes, it's about the operations process that help us keep applications running in production or simply keep the lights on. Operational excellence for any application is based on how to code and ship the application and then manage its life cycle. So it's end-to-end -end process from initiation to the maintenance. Of course, once it is end, then it is end, no need to maintain. Anyways, deploying or migrating applications to the cloud is not the end of the journey. What is more important is how we keep the lights on and how efficiently uh, we can do that means excellence of the operations. All the deployment must be reliable and predictable. That's how we achieve excellence in operations. Think automation. Automated deployments reduce the chance of human error and fasten the deployment process, release of new features or bug fixes. Proper automation and DevOps practices will help us not only CICD that we hear all the time, but quickly roll back if needed. It's the entire strategy. All the best practices and principles of DevOps. Well, there was the little overview what we are going to explore in this pillar. So let's get started. So here we have some topics that we need to explore in pretty detail. Uh, but for now, this is the video for the designing principles. So we need to understand the principles first before we dive deep into these topics, which actually runs operational excellence. The very first is application design. It's about proper guidance on how to design build and orchestrate workloads with DevOps principle in mind, which will help us to continuous integration and delivery and deployment along with collaboration and continuous improvement with continuous feedback. It's a lot of continuous, but you get the point. Importance of monitoring, we can't ignore and talked about many times, right? Monitoring will help us not only find how workloads are running, but also how to make it more efficient and user-friendly. Monitoring will provide insights to make the application performance better and also make application work efficiently as per the various situations, which leads to scalability or availability, let's say. We need to have a proper strategy to deploy code, which determines the application stability. Where our applications are running, that infrastructure should also follow practices which will keep it stable and no snowflake and could be deployed replicas if needed. Yes, infrastructure as code. This discipline refers to the best practices for deploying the platform where your application will run. And of course, testing, which should be everywhere. Testing is fundamental to prepare for the unexpected and to catch mistakes before they impact our customers, users. As they say, your back backup or DR or other anything is that secure as you last tested. We will dig into these topics later, as I said at the beginning, once we need to explore or understand the principles, designing principles of operational excellence. Once we have the grip on the principles, we can understand these topics and apply those principles to make them understand and perform better. So let's jump to the next slide. <clears throat> the principles of operational excellence are a series of considerations that can help achieve superior operational practices. 
To achieve a higher competency in operation, we should consider and improve. What are we talking here? The application development. How the software is developed, deployed, operated, and maintained the entire life cycle. Well, if it's if we talk about traditional methodologies of application deployment, development, uh, and deployment, now it's time to give a way for DevOps focused delivery if you want to achieve excellence in operations. Let's explore some of the key design principles quickly. Optimize build and release processes. The process of build and release requires special callout along with application deployment, deploying the underlying infrastructure through IAC ensures that the life cycle of all application components is streamlined. It's not only the application code, it's also the infrastructure on which the application code is running, deploying in the same pipeline via code. Interesting, right? No different teams or processes are required to handle the infrastructure and your application separately then. The same repeatable process can be used to manage both. Embrace software engineering disciplines across your entire environment, which includes provision with IAC infrastructure as code, build and release with CI, CD pipelines, use automated testing methods, avoid configuration drift through configuration as code. This approach ensures the creation and management of environment throughout the software deployment lifecycle, which will enable consistency, reputation, early detection of issues, ultimately saving time and cost, and of course, enhancing the security as well. Now, understand the operational health, implement systems and processes to monitor all aspects of your workload. Let's start with the beginning, build and release processor, processes, infrastructure health, application health. Robust monitoring ensures the observability of a workload and allows us to correlate events and take proactive mitigating issue or whether the service is meeting the business goal or enhancement needed. Monitoring the entire application and infrastructure stack as well as the efficiency of the build and release process can give us key insights into the overall system's operational health. The insights derived from operations telemetry and the DevOps matrices should be fed back into the system to enable continuous improvement. There should be a well-defined process for this, which will ensure consistency in all the aspects. The outcomes should be measurable as they indicate the improvement in efficiency of your systems over time. We should focus in designing loosely coupled applications. Yes. Before operations come and we make it excellent, we should have the proper planning if we could make the application or design loosely coupled applications, it will help to enhance it further. With cloud adoption on the rise, complex monolith have given a way to loosely coupled architecture. These architectures focus on loosely coupled cloud native services such as microservices, pass services, functions, serverless, even driven architecture. This approach helps in achieving much better operational excellence when compared to monolithic deployments. The different application components can be managed independently from each other for development, testing, and deployment. You can relate the benefits that we can have for the this kind of architecture. Now, we should rehearse recovery and practice failures. 
DR and backup, as I said earlier, as good as we last tested. So we should rehearse or run disaster recovery drills on a regular cadence. Use chaos engineering practices like many enterprises do to identify and remediate weak points in application reliability. Rehearse failure to validate the effectiveness of our recovery processes and ensure teams are familiar with their responsibilities and they do have the access of all the SOPs to follow. Document past failures and automate their remediation where possible. Finally, we, we did talk about a little bit continuous improvement, which is essential to stay competitive in the market. Teams that embrace continuous operational improvement continuously evaluate and refine operational process, procedures and tasks. They strive to reduce complexity and ambiguity whenever possible and wherever possible. Adopting continuous improvement culture helps organization to evolve, optimize efficiency and associated processes, learn from failures, continues uh, evaluate new opportunities and use advanced uh, deployment strategies to uh, deploy with blue-green staggered or canary strategies. These deployment strategies will enable teams to build and deploy services independently and minimize the impact if there is a service failure. If we need to summarize the, this very first video in operational excellence, in one simple word, operations is keeping the lights on but we are not doing the operations, we are excelling in it. Hence, the DevOps practices, which will help us in collaboration and continuous improvement. And focus on automation, IAC, CAC, pipeline, CICD, rollback, everything is automated. So one word for operational excellence is DevOps practices. Well, thank you for watching. In next video, we'll try to 